and let's just change our world settings a bit uh, make the world entirely black and maybe even increase the strength to 12 so basically now our scene is entirely lit up by just the emission light and to fill up the scene we are using this area light right here and we could even power it down a bit maybe 10 nice and now uh, since we are gonna fill our scene with more such candles so we could increase the size of this platform press s and 2 and just grab it and so such that the candle is in one of the corner of the plane and now we can add a camera to our scene press ctrl alt and 0 to snap camera to view g and x twice to move it in the x-axis the new x-axis and grab in z twice to move it in the new z-axis of our camera since it's at an angle and now you could just give the focal length as 80 to make it like the scene more flat and z twice again to move it in the z axis and give more room to the new candles we are gonna add now we can just start populating our scene with the more such candles select all these components and parent them to our glass holder and now shift d to duplicate and grab them scale in shift z and shift d again and maybe even rotate some of these or just rotate the flame it, it's one and the same and then rotate in the x and the y axis And click on R twice to just rotate in X and Y axis. and just start placing them randomly in our scene And just place all these candles randomly and you'll be good to go. Let's check the render view once. It already looks pretty nice. And now we could add a texture, maybe a wooden texture to our ground. And for that, uh, we'll just import a texture from our website. And for finding textures, what could be better than CCO textures? Let's click on assets and search wood. You'll get a ton of textures here. 
and I'm gonna import this one click on any of the options you wish to and we'll be good to go once you download the texture and unzip the file you will find something like this and after downloading the file select our ground jump into shading tab so create a new material and maybe rename it click on the principal bsdf and press ctrl shift t make sure node wrangler is turned on select all the downloaded materials i mean the downloaded files and click on principal texture setup and this is what you'll get now if you wish to change the orientation of this material you could change it in here the mapping node you could change the rotation or you could change the location of it i'm just gonna leave it as it is and here is our view rendered view you could also add just a bit of a detail to our uh, holder just jump into shading tab and here is the holder material we made shift a and import voronoi texture control t object to vector color ramp and a bump node now connect the color of Voronoi texture to the factor of a color ramp color of color ramp to height of bump node now connect these normals and this is what you get Read these values to make it quite random and you could play with these drop downs to kind of bring it in a distinctive look. It doesn't do much of our verb, but yeah, you could just add it if you wish to and yes that's our basic scene you could obviously add more to it like for example you could populate the plane even more and bring this camera further further back like so and add a depth of field to our scene you could even blur blur out these flames with the depth of field so now let's just click on render and just check out the final result. Thank you.